Welcome to Mumbai, a popular bustling metropolis where lakhs of Indians find gainful employment. One of the densest populated cities in the world, the financial capital of the country, a landmass of seven islands and a linear geometry that makes it difficult to expand horizontally. To combat the city's geographical constraints, the Trans Harbour Link was proposed to connect the island to the mainland across the sea from Siuri in the island city to Navasheva in Navi Mumbai. The eastern freeway running north-south on the eastern flange and the Worli Sivri connector running east-west meet at Sivri. It is from here that the Trans Harbour Link starts and goes across the harbour to connect to the mainland. On the mainland, the bridge will connect with NH4B at Chirle through a clover leaf interchange. Using the NH4B, one can travel south to JNPT port and on the northern side to Panvel and to the Mumbai Goa Road NH17 as well as the Mumbai Pune Expressway. The ceiling cuts the distance between the island city and Panvel and further to Pune and Goa by about 15 kilometers and would save 50 minutes of commuting time. A new road link is also proposed to connect Chirle to the Mumbai Goa Highway and the Mumbai Pune Expressway to cut this distance further by about 7 kilometers. Thus, the Trans Harbour Link would generate considerable economic savings in terms of fuel and vehicle operating costs and travel time besides decongesting the existing roads and thereby reducing transport related pollution in the city. Sivri Interchange It is from here that the Trans Harbour Link starts and goes across the harbour to connect to the mainland. The Trans Harbour Link is 22 kilometers long with a 16.5 kilometer bridge across the sea and a 5.5 kilometer viaduct on land on the Navi Mumbai side. This would be the longest sea bridge in the country. This state of the art bridge will be a boon for commuters traveling to Navi Mumbai and further up to Pune, Goa and southern India and would help move cargo in and out of the Mumbai port on the island city side and the Jawaharlal Nehru port on the Navi Mumbai side and further the proposed port at Revas. The access controlled six lane freeway would also provide speedy connectivity to the proposed international airport in Navi Mumbai. A twin track metro connectivity would also follow. The link is not merely a transport corridor. It would accelerate large-scale development of Ulve and Dronagiri areas in Navi Mumbai and in the Raigad district in the mainland through planned transformation of land uses that add economic value. The link facilitates and complements the all-round development of Navi Mumbai, making it the counter-magnet that decongests Mumbai and develops the mainland.